Over the last several years, nearly 20 inmates have died inside Macomb County's jail. Family members and advocates say many of them did not have to. Last night, 7 investigator Ross Jones told the story of a man who was beaten to death inside the jail's walls. Now he's telling the story of others who died and how the county sheriff is responding. Ashley Hinneberg died from an overdose. Jennifer Myers was jailed for less than two weeks before dying from sepsis. Alvarez Moline sought medical attention 12 different times in jail, according to his family, before he died of a pulmonary embolism. They are three of the 19 inmates who have died in the Macomb County Jail since 2012. The most recent death happening just this month. The jail commander on the day shift called me. Ryan had been involved in an altercation. Debbie Higerman's son Ryan was jailed for less than 24 hours before he was beaten to death. His cellmate, an 18-year-old man who suffered from mental illness, had already attacked one jail inmate before setting his sights on Hagerman. The attack went on for nearly two minutes before deputies stepped in. Sheriff Anthony Wickersham told us none of his staff violated jail policy. Mr. Hagerman died. Yes. And no one was disciplined? I'd have to look at the file. Again, I don't know exactly where everybody was coming from and what was going on. Okay. But yes, two minutes, you know, seemed like a long time. Does it mean because somebody's in jail, their life is any less valuable than somebody else's? That's what I think sometimes, that it's like, oh, well. Dan Karopkin is the ACLU of Michigan's deputy legal director. 19 deaths should set off alarm bells. They should set off alarm bells in Macomb County. Uh, they should set it off at the state level. Um, and if none of that works, they should set it off at the federal level. Apart from the human cost, these deaths come at a cost to taxpayers. Just this year, Macomb County settled a wrongful death suit with the family of Bronislaw Culpa locked up in one of the jail's detox cells. When guards tried to move Culpa to the jail's medical unit, he resisted, causing a team of deputies to restrain him, with one 300-pound deputy placing his knee in the center of the 63-year-old's back. Culpa suffered a heart attack and later died. The county settled the wrongful death case for $1.6 million. When you hear 19, it, it sounds like it's a lot. But when we look at six of them are suicides, one was uh, the homicide, and again, one death in this jail is well, too don't much. Don't those count too? Yeah, they all count. Yes, they all count. Sheriff Wickersham told us his deputies closely follow jail policies and procedures to keep inmates safe. But in neighboring Oakland County's jail, which houses hundreds more each day, Officials saw less than half the number of deaths Macomb reported. We do our best. We do our best with what we have, and we have policies, we have procedures. I think he just needs to look at his track record. I mean, how can he just ignore all this that's happening? I mean, these are just human beings that are, you know, they did do something wrong and they're in jail, but they're getting beat up, they're getting injured, they're losing their lives. Sheriff Wickersham says that his office has taken steps recently to keep inmates safer, like installing body scanners in 2016 to detect whether inmates are smuggling in drugs or other contraband. And in wake of three suicides in a span of months last year, the jail temporarily ordered more frequent checks on inmates. We should also point out that while the county settled the wrongful death lawsuit filed by Bronislaw Culpa's family, their insurer ended up covering more than $1 million of that settlement. The Hagerman family did sue Macomb County over the death of Ryan Hagerman it settled for $600,000. So it sounds like they're trying to make some changes, but it almost sounds like an investigation is well, needed. Well, families and advocates would say, first of all, the changes are way too late if they're coming, and secondly, these deaths are continuing. So obviously there's not enough yet being done. And as a one family member said, maybe bringing this to the federal level, you yeah. know, red flags for exactly. sure. Got to hope so. I know you'll stay on it for sure, Russ, as always. Thank you much for your investigation. Wow.